If you knew what I knew, you could get 10 million subscribers within six months. Your first video is not going to get views. Subscribers don't matter. Views don't matter. I mean, they do. So stop sitting there and thinking for months and months on end and just get to work and start uploading. Everything you want as a creator comes from making the best videos possible and thumbnails. It's much easier to get 5 million views on one video than 50,000 views on 100 videos. What advice would you give yourself when you were starting out? Your videos suck. You think your videos are good, but they suck. <laughs> you know, they just do. Um, and the sooner you learn how to make good, great videos that people actually want to watch, the sooner you'll get views. Um, I think is the biggest takeaway. Cause like when I was 14, I thought my videos were the best in the world. They weren't, they were terrible. Many people are making way better videos than me, but I didn't think that. And I think, you know, to be successful, you kind of have, have to have a little bit of that ego where you're like, you know, my content's great and you got to believe in it. But also like, if you have sub a thousand subscribers, like there's a good probability your videos just suck. They just do. And you need to make hundreds of videos or a hundred videos. I don't know. It depends on the difficulty of your videos, improve something every time and just like get to the point where they don't, when you make good content you'll blow up it's you, it's not the algorithm it's not anything it's just like most me and most people who are in my position you just make terrible videos and that's that's okay because you got to make a bunch of videos and improve over time to be great like you don't just pick up a baseball and become an mlb level uh, athlete within a year you know it takes many 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 years and youtube's kind of the same way a lot of people get analysis paralysis and they'll just sit there and they'll plan their first video for three months and yeah I, i'm any of you listening, if, if you, especially if you have zero videos on your channel, your first video is not going to get views, period. It's not. Your first 10 are not going to get views. I can very confidently say that. So stop sitting there and thinking for months yeah. and months on end and just get to work and start uploading. Like all you need to do, this, this applies to people who have not uploaded videos, but have dreams of being a YouTuber, is make 100 videos and improve something every time. Do that. And then on your 101st video, we'll start talking. Like maybe you can get some views, but... You know, your first hundred are going to stop. There are very freak cases like Liza Koshi or Emma Chamberlain who have really good personalities and it doesn't take them so as many videos. And it's just like people who are seven foot five and making the NBA. Like, yes, there are freak cases you can find. But for the average person like us, you know, who don't have these exceptional personalities and, you know, backgrounds in filmmaking, just make a hundred videos, improve something each time, and then talk to me on your hundred first video. How do you improve something each time? The second one just... I don't know, put more effort into the script. The third one, try to learn a new editing trick. The fourth one, try to figure out a way that you can have better inflections in your voice. The fifth one, try to, you know, study a new thumbnail tip and implement it. The sixth one, try to figure out a new title. There's yeah. infinite ways. That's the beauty of content creation online. There's literally infinite ways from the coloring to the frame rate, to the editing, to the filming, to the production, to the jokes, to the pacing, to every little thing can be improved and they can never not be improved. There's no, there's literally no such thing as a perfect video. What YouTube wants is they want people to click on a video and they want to watch it. Like, at its core, that's what it is. Now, you can like draw little lines and go as deep as you want into how to get people to click and how to get people to watch. I mean, essentially, by studying the algorithm, you'll learn that you're more studying human psychology, right? What do humans want to watch? You, anytime you say the word algorithm, just replace it with audience and it works perfectly. Like the algorithm didn't like that video. No, the audience didn't like that video. Literally, that's it. If people are clicking and watching, then it gets promoted more. And that's literally all the algorithm does is reflect what the people want to a T. And if you deny that, you just make terrible videos and are trying to find a scapegoat. What, what makes for a good title? Short? Not just short. It's also, if someone reads it, are they like, do they have to watch it? Is it just so intrinsically interesting that it's just gonna quit them yeah. if they don't click on it? You know what I mean? Ideally, it's a title also that, you know, cause the titles don't live in a vacuum, right? So it has to lead into the content. So ideally the title represents content that you would want to watch for 20 minutes. So if it's a 20 minute video and the title is, I stepped on a bug, the click through rate is going to be much lower than if it was like a five second video. Like even nuances of the length of the video based against the title will affect whether people want to click it because sometimes they just don't add up. I mean, it's that, yes, ideally you want it below 50 characters because above 50 characters on certain devices, you run the chance of it going dot, dot, dot. So like I took a, a light pole and I saw how many dollar bills I could stack on top and they would just go dot, 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 because it's yeah. too long and it can't finish it. And that's the worst thing because then people don't even know what they're clicking on. And so it's gonna do even worse. Short, simple, ideally, and just so freaking interesting. They have to click and it is a good segue into the content and it represents the length of the content. The more extreme the opinion, typically the higher the click through rate. If you can like pay it off in the content, then it just supercharges it. So like- Oh, so you have a kind of estimate of the extreme. Yeah, like uh, this, this water, right? You're like, Fiji water sucks. Yeah. That would do fine. If you said Fiji water 
It's the worst water I've ever drank in my life. Yeah. Way more extreme opinion would do way better. But you have to deliver. Yeah, but then you have to deliver because the more extreme you are, the more extreme you have to be in the video. I heard you guys talking about um, autoplay on YouTube. Yes. And I've never considered it. I've always thought about the thumbnail, but now on YouTube, videos automatically play. Of course. Awesome. So before you do, you film a video, what is the thumbnail? What is the video? And then what's the first five seconds? And then what's the first 30 seconds? You know, by the first yeah. five seconds, it's like goes with the thumbnail. Because it's possible that people open YouTube and they, they don't, don't see it. They don't Especially see for thumbnail. us, because like for so many people I've watched hundreds of our videos when I upload, I am first on your homepage. So like you, you just literally don't even see the thumbnail because mm. wow. it auto plays so quickly. So like the thumbnail is irrelevant. I have to like visually convince you to click on the video. Wow, that's so interesting. Yeah, that's why we go so hardcore. Mm. Dude, that's so crazy. So do you consider also captions in those first five seconds? Because people course, aren't watching with yeah, audio. Everything, mm -hmm. yeah. everything, yes, 100%. Mm -hmm. Wow, so those first five seconds, that hook is now even more important than it ever used to be. Oh, 100%. Yeah, yeah, yeah. before it was important because you had to convince people to watch. Yeah. Now you have to convince people to click and watch at the same time. Whoa. With the first five seconds. So that's driving CTR now too. Yeah. It Interesting. One hundred percent. I bro, I roast that a lot of people who like have boring first five seconds. It's brutal. Your title and thumbnail set expectations. And at the very beginning of the video to minimize drop off, you want to assure them that those expectations are being met. If you click on a video where, you know, uh, of his where it's like tether is a scam, and then at the very beginning he starts talking about literally anything else, then you are like, Oh, this is bull this isn't what I clicked on. But if at the very start of the video you go Tether is a scam, and I'm gonna teach you why. Then it's like, okay, you match the expectations. So at the very beginning, match the expectations, and then you wanna exceed them. So you wanna assure people that what they clicked on is what they're getting, and then blow their mind and be like, but you're also getting even more. That's how you, you lower drop off, which a lot of people, sometimes it takes them like 20 seconds to really meet the expectations. And so you lose, like, that's where you're gonna lose everyone. Everyone's videos start like this, and then it levels off. So you want to reduce the amount of people that click off on the audience retention graph. I hope you're popping up graphs while I'm saying this so, so it's easier for people to visualize. We really should drill this home because like the number one thing is like retaining as many people as possible at the start. Because like envision a chart where you lose 35% of your viewers in the first 30 seconds and then envision one where you only lose 20%. That's 15% more people that are watching, you know, throughout the video than not. And it's not like you made the whole video like, uh, a bunch better you just had a more strategic intro that hooked them and I'm, I'm struggling to put this into words and like to really impose how important that is but like that 15 percent difference in viewership really does make the difference between hypothetically like 2 million views on a video and like 10 in my head the thing people undervalue the most is literally the first 10 seconds of the video like yeah i can almost i think i can quote it uh i tied up an fbi agent and i have a hundred thousand dollars in this bag here's a knife Good luck, and I just run away. Yeah. Like it gives you everything you need. Yeah. No wasted words. Short, concise, and then tension. You basically want to remove every dull moment. You probably want to find the ten most critical people you know, make them watch the video, and just roast it. You know, certain things like if I just talk to a camera for ten seconds without a cut, like a lot of people will just like get bored or they'll lose interest. So like having a B cam and a C cam, and just you can just talk for ten seconds, but three seconds in cutting to a B cam and then a C cam. Like now it's more interesting, even though it's essentially the same thing and not that crazy. But you wanna have good pacing, typically having a payoff at the end keeps them, right? Last leave circle wins 10 grand. If there is a low moment halfway through, you're gonna to watch to the end because you wanna see who wins the 10 grand. Um, so having a good payoff at the end. How do you keep viewers watching and you know happy with the video? I would say just give them why they clicked, tell them why they should watch and then just stick on topic. Like that right there isn't even super complex, but I would already put you in the upper echelon of YouTube. <laughs> uh, it's it's hard for a lot of people. People, for whatever reason, like they just drag it out. A lot of vlog channels do it. It's like eating $100 ice cream. And they'll be like, I'm gonna eat $100 ice cream. But first, and then it's like earlier in the day. And it's just stuff that has nothing to do with what you clicked on. It's like them birthday shopping for their mom. And it's like, that's, that's not why I came here.